Uber is in, in uh, is one of the most, uh, I think, uh, most important technology companies in the world right now. We're right in the middle of uh, a huge shift in, the, in in transportation technology. You look at self-driving and automation. You look at where all of that's going, um, and making our our world a cleaner place, a more efficient place. Um, and you look at the scale that it's gotten to, it's the fastest growing company in history. So it's a significant company and it, uh, and, and it is playing a role that's very important. The, the new CEO, uh, Dara Khosrowshahi, in case anyone wanted to know how to pronounce it, is a fellow uh, Iranian American and uh, his family is also a, really a, a crown jewel of our community. Um, Hadi Partovi and Ali Partovi and many, many of the of his family, his cousins have been contributing to our country, uh, to America, uh, in in such uh, amazing ways, and and we are all very proud that uh, he has accepted and joined uh, to lead Uber into its next phase of growth. All right, I can understand that. Of course, as a fellow Iranian American, why you'd be proud of that. But why do you think he's the right choice? Given this board seemed to be focused on perhaps two other candidates for quite some time, and he yeah. seemed to have been the truce choice. <laughs> No, I think it was the perfect choice. Uh, Dara is, uh, if you look at the experience at Expedia uh, over the last 12 years, uh, he's actually 12x the, the value of the company. He's beloved by, by everyone. Uh, he doesn't shy away from uh, solving problems, uh, and he's a leader. And so uh, we're all very, very happy and excited about him joining. He's the perfect choice. So you're heading to court today yes. in Delaware over this board fight. Right after this. Right after this. Tell me, uh, what do you expect to accomplish there? And what exactly is your role with Uber right now, with Travis, maybe as an advisor? Because the letter you sent had a lot of information about what's going on at Uber mm -hmm. and what Travis is thinking. Well, um, well, I mean, I, I, everything I'm doing as a, as a personal uh, investor in, in Uber, as you know, well, I was a, an early investor um, in, in the company. I was on the board as an observer uh, for about four years. I uh, was lucky to see the company go from, you know, uh, 9,000 customers, 1.8 million net revenue to tens of billions. Uh, in, in such a record amount of time um, and creating millions and millions of jobs around the world. So my role is, is really just to uh, try to make sure that the voice of all shareholders and stakeholders and employees is heard, that no one is bullying their, their agenda or their choice of a CEO uh, or their um, selection of who should be the, the board members no one should be uh, bullying that. And I believe, as you've seen in my letters, in the stance that I've taken, that um, Benchmark, I believe, has been uh, pushing their agenda at the expense of, uh, of those stakeholders. So it's important to be uh, in the court. Uh, I'm very lucky to have uh, <coughs> uh, Quinn Emanuel, one of the best law firms in the, in the country, uh, take on the case with us. We intervened last week You, you got deep filed. insight into Travis's thinking and feelings, though. Clearly, you two are friends, right? I mean, some of the information in the letter about, you know, your feelings around what Travis was told and, and when, and, uh, you know, Benchmark no, taking John, advantage there's of no, no, there's no connection to that. This is the, the, I, I, I'm very close to the company, and I know a lot of these things. And that conversation uh, that I cited in, in my first letter to the board uh, that uh, made me believe that Benchmark had leaked uh, information about the Holder Report uh, and many other things that's in the letter, and I know you're going to post some things later uh, online. Uh, it was important that uh, the board of directors and all shareholders and all employees and everyone knew that, uh, you know, what was going on here, what the facts were. But you and believe Benchmark is trying to take control of the company. That's what you say in the letter. It says it in the letter. I believe that those actions were are, uh, definitely in that direction. If you're trying to control board seats and keep uh, who's going to appoint which board seat where, um, that is obviously uh, 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 something that would make you believe that uh, they would. And they uh, believe trying Kalanick to wants it. to continue to have control and take back the board seats that he said he would relinquish. 
Um, you know, uh, you know, as I've said, you know, these guys, uh, they, they showed up um, the week that Travis's mother was, uh, had passed away in a tragic accident. His father was, was in the hospital um, dying and, and uh, they saved his life. That very week when Travis um, agreed to take a leave of absence to mourn his uh, mother and, and uh, that week they showed up in his hotel room with a letter from five uh, shareholders without the so support of the board of directors and they hold him up in a room and, and uh, in, a, in, in that state, in that moment, that's not an honorable thing in my opinion uh, to do. Um, and, uh, and, you know, the facts are the facts as I've written in the letters um, and they, uh, you know, pushed him to resign. And um, that's, you know, I don't think that's an honorable way of doing, uh, doing but business. Do you think Kalanick deserves any of the blame for overseeing a company that was mired in so many controversies, allegations of sexual harassment, mm -hmm. ongoing investigations by the federal government? The list goes on mm -hmm. and on. He took a leave of absence for a reason. And, and, and he's, uh, he's also said um, that um, uh, he was uh, absolutely supportive of the, the you know um, of, of this process and now uh, unanimously the board is, uh, has uh, selected Dara Hosershawi as a new CEO um, and the company is going through a, a process um, at the same time uh, this is a founder that uh, helped build the fastest growing company in history that's created millions of jobs and so um, you know I think with Dara's leadership uh, this company is going to go from where it is in the tens of billions of revenue to even even bigger and uh, more important uh, uh, accomplishments. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.